Poem review. Poem review. It's time, everybody, for poem review. We're going to be reviewing a poem today, so buckle in, because we're poem review. Good night, everybody. It's your host, me. And today, we're going to be doing the first ever episode of poem review. This is going to be a great, fantastic series, better than the Fantastic Four. So buckle in, because we're about to crash into some poems. Today, we're going to be reviewing Nothing Gold Can Stay by Robert Frost. Now, we all know who Robert Frost is. He's an actor who played Iron Man in the Spider-Man franchise. So, this must be a good poem because Robert Frost wrote it. And Robert Frost, who's an actor who played Iron Man, yet he died, but still, good, this must be a good poem. So, anyways, let's review some poems. Now, the thing with poems is that they always tend to rhyme, you know? that They always want to rhyme so that people think that the poem is good. But here's the thing. When things rhyme, that doesn't mean they're good, you know? Just because they rhyme doesn't mean that it's good. Like, the, the last word of each line could rhyme, but the poem itself could still be bad. So don't be fooled by the rhyme trap, the rhyme trick. Because rhyming does not equal good. Anyways... Let's jump into Nothing Gold Can Stay by Robert Frost, the best actor in the world. Nature's first screen is gold, her heart is hue to hold. Her early leaves a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sink to grief. So dawn goes today, nothing gold can stay. Sounds terrible. You know what, let's just analyze each line of the poem and see what it all means. Nature's first screen is gold, which I don't really believe because how could uh, 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 green be gold? Like, if it's green, that means it's green. It's not gold. So it can't... You know, Robert Frost, I'll give you this one. This is your first poem. You're an actor. I get it. So nature's first green is gold. Her hardest hue to hold. <coughs> Wanna know what's harder than her hue? <coughs> her early leaves a flower, but only so an hour. That line makes no sense. Whatsoever. What? Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. Again, just because something rhymes doesn't mean that it's good. They're linking two topics that have nothing to do with each other whatsoever by rhyming. Doesn't mean it's good. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. What in this poem, other than the first line, is gold? You see, this is, this is a classic rookie mistake with poems. They they always try to rhyme, but they sacrifice rhyming for good. Oh, no, they sacrifice good so that they can rhyme. You see, none of the none of these lines whatsoever have any meaning whatsoever. It makes no sense. The Robert Frost. I know that this is your first poem. I know that you're an actor, so I'll cut you some slack. But still, you could have made it made sense at least. So dawn goes down today. Nothing opens. That line makes no sense. You know why? Because gold can stay. Gold can stay, alright? Gold can stay. Why wouldn't gold be able to stay? In fact, I'm going to prove it to you right now. I'm going to prove to you that gold can stay. Alright? I'll prove it to you. See that? You probably can't because the camera angle is kind of weird. Well, this is gold, okay? And I'm gonna prove to you that I can stay. I'll I'll show you that I can stay for who knows how long. There's the gold. I'm gonna show you how long it can stay. I'll even do that. Just to, there we go. We gotta keep analyzing this though, cause this so far makes no sense whatsoever. 
like, look, her heart is here to hold. Why is Robert Frost linking sex with poems? That makes no sense. Why? Is this poem supposed to be about how babies are born? Probably. Because if they're saying, because nature is, like, we're in, okay, let's be real. We're in nature, right? We're, we're in nature, technically, because we're animals, and animals are nature. <laughs> And if they're trying to link nature with gold, which makes no sense, because nature is not gold, nature is humans, uh, trees, grass, trees, skin, whatever. They're trying to say that nothing gold can stay. And as we know, Iron Man, before he died, Iron Man has a kid. I don't remember what her name is, but yeah, she has. he has a kid. If they're trying to say that nothing gold can stay, and since this is Robert Frost's poem, they're trying to say that her daughter, whatever her name is, is going to run away from home one day. She's going to run away from home. This poem takes a very dark turn when you think about it. Think. Robert Fr <coughs> <coughs> so Nothing Gold Can Stay overall, I think, is a terrible poem. It's a bad poem, and it encourages kids to run away from home. Why? I don't know, but it just does. Because nature's first screen is gold, her heart is huge to hold, that's a, supposed to symbolize, you know, the parents having her early leaves of flower, but only so an hour. I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to ignore it completely. Then Eden subsides the leaf, so Eden thinks to greet. That line also makes no sense, so I'm just going to ignore it. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. So, that's exactly what it means. The, par the parents have that thing. Then the kid runs away from home in a few years. This is a dark, this is a dark poem. And I mean, I ignored half of it because it makes no sense. But just the top two lines and bottom two lines are very dark when you think about it. Very dark. And that's why I think that this poem is bad. But still, I'm going to prove how Robert Frost is wrong when he says that nothing gold can stay. Gold can stay, alright? He says discriminating against gold. He thinks that I can't stay. He's trying to be mean against it. Gold can stay, and I'll prove it to you with this poster. So overall, what do I think? Of nothing gold can stay? Well, I'll, I'll explain what I think of it in two words. It's a bad poem. Calling out from Scotland.